Hey guys, how's it going? So I just thought I would do this sort of mini intro to the intro to the video just to let you know that this video that I have um, sort of put on my channel, it's a video that I initially have created for the children that I teach at school whilst they are homeschooling to give them some fun ideas to do um, to, to support them and help them through this difficult time. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below if you want to see anything else like this, or if you're a parent and you want any help with anything in particular, comment down below and I'll do my best to do so. Uh, enjoy the video, guys. Yo, guys, what is going on? How are we doing? Welcome back to another video. So, today I thought it would be quite a fun idea to do a bit of a science experiment. I've not done a science experiment for a little while and I'm feeling sciencey, so that's what we're going to do. Now, we are having stunning weather at the moment and I'm not complaining about the weather, but there's not been much rain recently and that led me on to a fantastic idea. We are going to create some rain. Well, kind of. It's going to look like rain at any rate. Um, all we're going to need is a few simple materials, ingredients, you could say, that you will find around your house. That is oil, water, and food colouring. That is all you need. Uh, maybe a couple of glasses, alright? But ingredients-wise, water, oil, food colouring. The food colouring doesn't really matter. You can use multiple food colouring as well. I will obviously explain that in a second, but that's all you need. Alright guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so once you have all of your ingredients and your materials, that is oil. Doesn't need to be fancy oil, I'm just using vegetable oil. Uh, food colouring, doesn't really matter what food colouring, just be aware that the consistency, if it's slightly different, so this is quite a liquidy food colouring, whereas this one is a bit more gooey and thick, it might have a different reaction. A small mixing glass or jug or something like that, doesn't need to be big, just a small one. And then a larger glass with water in it, uh, leaving a, a, a couple of inches at the top for the solution to go into. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to pour some of your oil into that small glass. It doesn't need to be much, alright, but it needs to be enough that it can then fit into the larger glass afterwards. To the oil, you're then going to add some drops of food colouring. Now at this point, if you have multiple different colours, then you can add those into this oil. Add it all in at the same time, a few drops of each, it doesn't need to be crazy. And then once you have done that, get a, a small spoon or a stick and you're going to swirl it and mix it together. Now this isn't going to change the colour of the oil and you may well notice this. And the reason being is because the oil and the food colouring won't mix. They won't gel together. Alright, and so what will happen is you'll create almost small bubbles of food colouring within the oil. And then once you're do you've done that, you are ready to mix both of these together. Now you have got your oil mixture with the food colouring in it and as I say you need to make sure that it's nicely mixed up and when you mix it up you will see that there's lots of now little bubbles of food colouring and it looks blue but the oil itself is not actually blue it's just um, there are loads of now mini bubbles of food colouring and then you need to get your water and you are going to pour this mixture into the water. This is why I said you need to leave that nice gap at the top so that you have enough room for the oil mixture to go into the water. All right, let's do it. So what you're going to notice guys is that all of the oil is now floating on top of the water. And what starts to happen is once the food colouring gets too heavy, as you can see there's a bubble going already, it starts to fall and your food colouring will begin to look like rain.
also tried this with the red food colouring and it worked a little bit better. The only thing with the red food colouring, and I think this is because of the thickness, the difference in thickness between the blue and the red, was uh, the reaction was very quick, but it also dyed the water beneath very quickly too. So essentially as soon as the food colouring is released from the oil, it will then merge into the water and, it and the, two, the water and the food colouring will eventually mix. So you will find that your blue food colouring, the water will eventually turn blue, and the red food colouring, your water will eventually turn red. There is one other thing that we can do which is pretty cool, which I think is, um, it looks, it just looks really cool. It doesn't really show anything or prove anything, but I think it looks quite funky. And so if you get a spoon and you stir the water back up, it mixes all of the oil with the water, which again creates small bubbles. Of, of oil and you'll probably still have some food coloring within the oil so you'll get um, sort of bubbles of food coloring too and it all mixes and it looks a little bit like a sort of a tornado um, it spins up in the glass you've got lots of bubbles going on and the food coloring is is moving around too uh, so that's also like a really cool fun thing to do once you have initially tried this experiment to see it rain Okay guys, there you go, there is the experiment. Now this experiment kind of can keep on giving, to be honest. The first experiment and the reason behind it is to see how the the, the food colouring drops from the, uh, the oil droplets and it does look almost like rain as that those individual little beads of oil release the food colouring and it drips down into the water. But once it has mixed and your food colouring and your oil and your water have all separated and mixed together and you are left with sort of this bizarre looking concoction of like dyed water and then oil, uh, you can still have fun with it. You can either use a spoon and mix it again within the glass or you can pour it into a clear bottle or a, or a glass bottle and you can shake it and it's almost like a sensory toy because you can see that although for the most part the food coloring has mixed in with the water there are still globules of oil that have sort of kept the, the the food coloring within it the oil itself doesn't is obviously separated from the water because of the different densities of the two substances and so it really does keep on giving and you can use this and play with it time and time and time again so yeah there you go i hope you guys have enjoyed the video and i really would love to see all of your experiments so don't forget to hit me up with pictures and videos i'd love to see it all and see how you managed with this and if you've done a cooler thing than me and have used multiple different food colorings within the one experiment, the rain is obviously going to be like rainbow and multicolored and it's going to look really cool. All right, guys, that's it for me. I hope you had fun doing this and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.